what did you see for you from your unit, your side, and then carry over to that? Yeah, I was very, uh, I don't know if surprised the right word, but pleasantly surprised, I guess, at the way those guys came out. You know, you miss a game, you never know what the attitude's going to be like, you never know you know, what the demeanor is going to be like. But those guys came out and practiced like we wanted them to on Monday, better than we expected. I thought Monday was our best practice since we've split as, you know, in the scout team and, and regular unit. That was probably our best tempo of the day. Um, and today, you know, today was pretty good too. Uh, usually on Tuesday, we affectionately call it Tough Guy Tuesday. I script all the hard stuff for them, uh, give them all the really hard looks. So obviously there's some busts and some things like that, but the effort was really good again today. Yeah. Yeah. So the yellow jerseys. Um, you know, obviously when I when I talked to Coach McBride and he told me about the beginning of the black shirts and some of those other guys, it was you know the the, the first team had the black shirts and the second team had the had the yellow shirts, affectionately known as the Killer Bees. So we uh, we went back to that thing, and I, I think some of these guys already they're pretty nice jerseys, but some of these guys are already saying, I want to get out of this thing, I want to get into the black. So hopefully hopefully that's a, another little uh, mental mental. Uh, reward for getting out of those things and into the black jerseys. So you got first team guys. Everybody's in them right now. Coach, yeah, Coach Frost said the same thing. Everybody that's up with us. The scout team guys wearing the scout team jerseys. Everybody that's up with us is wearing the, the yellows. Uh, after this first game, once we get the black shirts out there, then the black shirts will be in black and the second team guys will be in the gold. Uh, when you say script art stuff on Tough Guy Tuesday, what do you mean script art? I'm talking about me scripting the plays that I think the other team has that are really good plays or really hard plays, and I'm going to script them against a defense we don't want to be in. Uh, so the guys would have to be near perfect to, to win, but teaching them, teaching them what's going to happen to them if we, we don't get that call executed, you know, exactly. So there's a lot of things on there that I'm scripting the offense uh, to have some success against our, our defense, and the scout team will have a little success against our guys, and hopefully those guys celebrate and they make our guys a little bit more irritated. Hey, Coach Cross had mentioned that yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I, I guess it does. Usually, you always say that, you know, between week one, because you kind of get the the, the pregame stuff out of the way. You get some of the the rough patches as you, you know you're playing in front of in front of ninety plus thousand fans instead of playing in in the indoor on the outdoor practice field. But I think you can still make a big jump between week one and week two throughout practice. And to be honest with you, I don't think a little adversity is going to hurt this team at all. I think it's going to make us better. Why, why, you know when coaches say that teams make jump week one to week two, why, why is that? Why do teams make that jump? Well, are, you know, yeah, I think I think like we talked about, you know, playing in, in front of the the fans under the lights is a different scenario than playing on the practice field. Number two, you're you're figuring out exactly who the guys are. You know, there's a lot of times where guy A and guy B and guy C all look good in practice, and then we go out in the game, and you know, one guy, you know, dribbles down his leg, and the other guy really rises rises to the game. So I think you figure out who those guys are. You figure out what communication needs to happen. You also figure out kind of how teams are going to attack you, and you, you address those issues uh, throughout get week one. So uh, that's kind of the reason why guys make the biggest jump. And obviously we didn't have that yet, so we got to get it done in practice. Colorado's offense, what are the similarities to Nebraska's? Uh, you know, they're both spread. They're both a spread operation. Uh, there's some fundamental run game stuff and some fundamental pass game uh, things that carry over. Obviously, they got their own little flavor in, in some of the personnel guys that they use. Uh, they do some different things. I think they do some really nice things on offense. You know, they have a dangerous deep threat in number three, and number two is a very good player. Uh, the quarterback, Montez, I think he's going to have 17 or 18 starts under his belt, so an experienced quarterback is, is always nice to have, and I think they got a running back that can – um, really do some things in the in the in the you know zone read game. I think the guy they had last year is a little bit more of a downhill guy, and this guy can can do some things in the zone read game. But I think they have a nice a nice offense. Um, I know their coordinators are doing a great job, and the kids are, are playing hard. So, and they go fast like our guys. That's a, that's another thing. Yeah. Since you guys didn't have a game to study film off of last week, you guys got an early jump on Colorado. How much does that help, especially with an offense that? 
as potent as Colorado's to get just a couple days head start? Yeah, I don't know if we really got a couple days head start because we were thinking about Akron up until the game got canceled. So we, we didn't start on, on Colorado until I'm sure some of our guys probably got going Saturday night after the game, after we knew it was canceled, and then everybody else got going on Sunday. But we, we are, we are not a looking forward operation. We, we need to, every game's important for us. So we were thinking about Akron until, until the game was canceled. All right, thank you guys.